young person who grew up here in Tucson, Arizona, was active all of his life, served on the school board, served on the board of supervisors, and against all odds and against big money, he won for Congress representing us. And so, Senator Sanders, I tell you, we are also the home, we are the home of Raul Grijalva, and please, Thank you, thank you, thank you, and uh, thank you, Isby, and thanks to all of you uh, for being here and for this rousing Baja Arizona welcome for Bernie. Uh, I got asked by my colleagues in Congress, why did you endorse Bernie? You know, as, as if supporting Bernie was either wrong, or not smart politically, or at a weak moment, and uh, my answer to my colleagues was, why not? <laughs> Bernie's my friend, and beyond friendship, I agree with his values. I agree with the solutions that he is bringing and his campaign is bringing to their American people. And finally, as part of the answer, it's way past time. That we had a national campaign and a voice that speaks truth to power. Not triangulated in any way. Direct, honest, straight, truthful. It's a message, surprise, surprise, that the American people want to hear and that the American people support. And it's a campaign. Bernie's campaign is a campaign that's not built on fear. It's not built on hatred. It's not built on division or the immense money contributions from super PACs and corporate America. It is transformational. And you're here because of the truth. And speaking this campaign speaks to the collective future of America that we are all responsible for, and Bernie speaks to that truth. Our mission and the campaign's mission is very simple. It's about, it's about fairness and equality. And the reality, the reality, and our reality is this, our economy is only working for the super rich, 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 and the corporations and hardworking people people striving to get ahead, people finding themselves paying more and getting paid less, and finding that the doors of opportunity are closed to them and their families. That's the people that are listening to Bernie, and those are the persons that care about this country in the long term, not from one election to another, but what happens in the long term. Because of fairness is about justice too. And economic justice requires jobs. It requires opportunity. And that, that the poor not be neglected and treated as collateral dam damage simply because they're poor. And simply because they might look different. They might have needs that are different. They might be in a different zip code. They might be in a different color. Economic justice is about fairness. 
Economic justice and fairness are one and the same. And this campaign has blended those together in such a way that when people talk about the economy, they also they talk about themselves, but they also talk about the greater good, that a good economy that rewards work, rewards discipline, rewards ambition, and rewards striving, as opposed to an economy we have now that rewards power only, <coughs> rewards richness more, and concentrates that wealth in a way that the rest of America can't have it, and can't have the same opportunities. <coughs> so we need a government that works for every one of us, and let that opportunity guide us. Don't close the doors to education. Don't price us out of going to college. Don't, don't, don't labor us with a debt we can't pay. And we heard from two brilliant young people today and very moving stories and discussions. The, risk, the issue of Oak Flats transcends Oak Flats. It's about, it is about the first Americans receiving the respect the sovereignty and the decency to be treated as first Americans. And Bob, about his family and his mom. But it is more. It is about dealing with an issue. Dealing with an issue, not by demonizing people, not, but by uniting families and fixing a broken Im immigration system that is punitive at best and broken at worst. So let me... Uh, and the reality of our America is that it's more diverse. It's got different hues, different textures, different tones. The reality is not something that we need to fear, but in the tradition of this great nation of ours, a tradition that I grew up in, that Bob is growing up with, that every one of us grew up in. A tradition that says, from many there is one. That's the tradition that we need. That's the attitude that we have to have. And that is the forward progress that Bernie's campaign is bringing to the American people. Estoy aquí yo apoyando a Bernie y sinceramente porque creo que su agenda de, de una economía justa, de una reforma migratoria justa, de una democracia justa donde cada persona y su voto vale, es una de las razones que estoy aquí. Y les pido a la comunidad que con nuestro voto podemos defender nuestras familias y nuestro futuro. Con nuestro voto expresamos nuestro orgullo y presencia en este país para hacerlo mejor. Bernie aprecia que este país no nomás es, es un complejo de muchas gentes, pero de muchas gentes es un pa país solo. Y así lo tenemos que defender y también tenemos que respetar que cada persona, sus diferencias son fuerzas del país, no es algo que, que le hace daño al país. Al país. You know, I, 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 as we go forward in this campaign, it's going, it is going to be a fight, and we're all going to be in that fight. But I am convinced more than ever, and today with all of you here, just validates the sense that I have that we're in a transformational period where the American people have said enough. We're going to take this great democracy of ours back. We're going to prioritize the economy, and the opportunity in this country for regular folk. 
and we're going to look ahead. We're going to look ahead. So the generations that come inherit from our efforts in 2016 a stronger country, a fairer country, and a country that respects its people. That's why I'm here today. So it is with, so it is with pleasure, pride, and the privilege to welcome and introduce to you the next president of the United States of America.